Hey, welcome back. This is a part two of the series to teach you how to do the pole production for drone music video. If you come to this video directly, you should definitely go check out part one of the pre fight check gear requirement and how you attach 360 camera on your drone and how to capture the footage. And in this part and actually part two, uh, we are actually not go directly to how to actually edit the 360 video. We are gonna do it in the media and actually create something like this one you look at right now is the 360 tiny planet version of the 360 drone video for your Instagram story or your Instagram videos. So why is this so important? So if you guys, uh, if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you know that I'm actually a, a decent side Instagrammer for uh, photograph like tiny planet photos and tiny planet videos, which is my specialty and my niche. To me, why now most people still enjoying 360 content on the 2D platform like Instagram, and most of them actually don't have the VR headset. So if you want your content to be viewed more by more people, uh, I will actually actually suggest you flatten out your 360 video into 2D tiny planet version video and post it on Instagram, you might get more view, more eyeball on your content. And also it's a great promotional tool for your actual 360 video content on your platform like VR on YouTube, on Vimeo, on Facebook. In this intermediate tutorial, I'll teach you actually how to flatten your 360 drone video into 2D version uh, and create Instagram story an Instagram video to promote your actual video. And this process actually including like how to flat the video up and also how to remove the drone. Um, so let's dive right in. So as you, as you see right here, that is a vertical version to 69 by 16 Instagram uh, story version of the video. And let's go ahead and play it. So see there's a drone footage, drone is flying on that direction. So you see the Plus moving smoothly, but everything is super smooth because thanks to the GoPro friction stabilization. So not not much we need to do, and it's a really stable tiny planet video. And that is again is nine by sixteen. That is the typical Instagram story format. The the whole version is only fifteen second long. So see here, fifteen second long. So that's all you need for Instagram story. So you can post that to promote your video. And this is the different version so that is the instagram story uh instagram video version with the square let's go ahead and just play a little bit so the same idea and you see the globe and everything's moving so again if you want to check out more of the tiny planet version of the drone video go to my instagram uh it will help me a lot if you subscribe to my instagram and follow my content and get some inspiration uh, but let's go back to how to actually do this. If I break it down, so here I nested the footage. By the way, we are in Premiere 2018 right here. So if you go into the nested footage, you actually see that. Let me just mute this. So that is the entire video footage right here. But there is a lot of layer right here. So if you go ahead and hide all those layers, I'll let you see what's going on. So now you see the drone right here. So this is the original footage. I play it, so so it's still the same footage, but the uh, the goal is we need to hide the drone because uh, for Instagram uh, story is is a vertical version, so this is harder. That usually you will see the drone, uh, but for if you square format, if you just cut it like right here, you can probably cut out the drone already. You don't even do, need to do any post. You just need to like output that format, but. Uh, for demonstration purpose, I will do it from start to finish so you know exactly how to do Instagram Tiny Planet video version of the drone video. So let's get started. So go ahead and create a new sequence. So for here, I'll just pick DSLR 1080p 30 frames per second. So after you drop the footage right here, which is 7951, this is the footage directly output from the GoPro Fusion, Fusion Studio 1.1. Uh, if you play the footage, uh, that is just a crop window of the entire 5.2k footage. If you see the footage right here, let's go to the project. That is a 5.2k footage right here. So that is this footage. So now we need to turn this into a tiny planet version. But before we do that, so figure out what you're going to create. If you want to create a square version of the tiny planet and tiny planet video for Instagram videos, uh, you want to create a square. Um, but for here, I want to do the most challenging thing is actually Instagram story, which you will see the most part of the drone and then you need to get rid of. So go ahead right here, go to sequence setting. Let me bring the window down in here. Um, so just flip this. So 
the width will be 1080 and then the height will be 92 1920 9 by 16 so now the whole thing become vertical and GoPro version does shot at 30 frames per second so you need to change your frame rate so to go ahead and hit OK OK so now we got a vertical version of the Instagram story uh, version but again that is not right right this is not too interesting to see to watch so I want to create a cool tiny planet version of the video so uh, the next thing you're gonna do after you like create a correct format is go to your effect. In effect, the plugin you need you need is a GoPro VR reframe. So this plugin is actually free from GoPro website. So if you go to GoPro and find the GoPro Fusion website and go ahead and download GoPro Fusion Studio 1.1, after you install the software, by the way, it's free. Uh, you don't you don't need to have a GoPro Fusion. You can have any. I mean, it's free. You just go on the website, download it, and after you install it you will have this plugin inside your Premiere and After Effects so you can use it absolutely free. So uh, any 360 footage including um, GoPro Fusion, E, 360 VR, Insta360 One, uh, Rhino, um, what else? The Verb, Garmin Verb, uh, Nikon Key Mission, any 360 video footage, you, you can use the same exact workflow to create Tiny Planet or flatten the into 2D video. Uh, it's the exact same format. So a lot of people on YouTube ask me like, how can I uh, create like 2D version of the 360 video? How can I do that? And that is the workflow right here, right now. So I'll show you exactly how it's so simple. Just go ahead and download this uh, from the GoPro website and then just go ahead and grab it. Uh, after you install it, right, just grab it onto the footage. Boom, immediately you see something like that. Well, you can see the drone right now, but the pro the goal is to get rid of the drone as much as possible. So go ahead to your effect control. So we have the GoPro VR reframe plugin. Um, so just go ahead and play the yard pitch and roll until you get a tiny planet version of it. So now it's kind of grow. Go ahead and zoom in. See now you see the tiny planet. So as you see, if I play it around the row, I can push the drone out of the frame as much as possible. So so I can adjust this to the liking. So after I play it around the setting right here, so I found that this exact setting, um, on this scenario, have this least amount of drone seeing in the vertical video right here. You can play the entire footage, just scroll around. You can only see the propeller right here and right here, and it's really easy to get rid of. So um, you can go ahead and copy this setting. Uh, if you follow along, um, you can just all just play around until you find your best scenario to see the less amount of drone uh, in your vertical video. So now. The second step is to actually to get rid of it and get rid of it is also very easy. We are going to stay entirely in Premiere. We are not going to After Effect. We are not going to use any plugin. We're going to just use Premiere. So just go ahead. See right here. You can duplicate this layer. So if we hit all and drag up. So now you duplicate this layer. And now my goal is to clone this part to cover this part. So it's very easy. So go ahead and go to your tool set. And under opacity, hit the pen tool. And go ahead and draw this part right here. And then on this video, we're going to go ahead and move like here and cover the drone. And then if you click right here, you see cover it. But as you see, there is this edges right here. It doesn't look really good. So the next step is go back to the mask you just draw right here and go ahead and further the mask a lot. So now if you click out of it, now you kind of cover it. But again, uh, you still see if you scroll around, you actually still see the drum the top part. So don't worry about it. I will actually just go ahead and duplicate the mask we just created and draw all drag up and right here and I go ahead and move this mask 
shoot it a little bit up. The uh, direction right here, move it right here, and make sure to cover the remaining part of the propeller. And now, if you click out of it, it's going to play. See, now the entire top part is gone. As you see, you still see some around here. So do the same thing. Just go ahead here, continue to duplicate, same layer, and then just go ahead and hit the mask. So you see where is the mask. So the problem area is right here. And you can also, you don't need to like cover this part because I don't want to cover the crowd. So I would just modify the mask and just right there to cover what we need. So you can click on it. Now I just play the whole thing. They're gone. So now uh, after modify, uh, the edges so we can blend out the entire edges so with three duplicate layer uh, we can now cover the top part of the drone entirely so again you can continue to duplicate and achieve the perfect result just go ahead the, the process is so simple i just repeat it again so what you need to do is go to opacity try to draw a mask into the area next to it and basically move the location of the mask to cover the propeller the drone part and then because it's next to it uh it's very similar, so uh, you can really easy to just cover the drone. So we do the exact same process for the lower part. So now we do the exact same process for the lower part right here. If if you got hide the, the layer, you, you you now you can see the drone right here. All right, so I just do the exact same process to go ahead and hide the drone, the propeller on the lower part as well. So now we have this entire video without the drone. Great. So uh, for organization purpose, I usually will go ahead and nest this. Let's go ahead and nest this and to create a new nest nested sequence. So look like that. So now after you create a nested sequence, you see the whole thing become yellow. So now uh, Instagram story is 15 seconds. So I go ahead and just pick the first 15 seconds and find a good music right here. Uh, because I always love to put great music with my videos. So in case people turn on music uh, when they're previewing a story and they see a pretty immersive experience with good music and good video. So as you see right here. And um, as you see, I also drop in a little bit color correction right here. Uh, I add a, a color restart and looks um, that is by Red Giant. Um, but again, you can use any color correction software you, you prefer to create your color profile, the look you want. Um, that is a personal preference, so I'm not gonna go over here. But that is how easy you to create a tiny planet drone video uh, for your 2D Instagram story and Instagram video to really like like add a different dimension of your 2D content. So um, hopefully you learn how to do that. Uh, answer most of the audience question how I actually like flatten the 2D video into 2D version and post on my Instagram. So uh, in the next video, we actually got to talk about uh, more interesting stuff, uh, how I actually get with the drone in the 360 video. Because in 360 video, we cannot use the GoPro reframe to try to push out a drone as much as possible off the frame and, and just cover it with like duplication or mask. Uh, it's not going to work uh, just with Premiere. So I'll teach you how to do that in After Effects to actually cut out the drone using Photoshop and using Mocha VR from beginner to advanced uh, way to start your, your drone and also extra stabilize your footage so your footage look really smooth and stabilized. So I will see you in the next tutorial. <laughs>